Hi there folks, welcome to the next lesson in our SDL series. This is going to be specific for Linux users. So if you're not using Linux, don't worry about following along. Although you might find some interesting insights if you're developing for another platform or plan to develop on Linux later on. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive in and get set up with SDL2 on Linux. So what I'm going to show you is a few different tools that you can use for your Linux setup. This is going to be a rather complete setup for getting started with SDL and C++. This first task I'm going to show you is optional because I just want to show you some tools to get acquainted with the Linux infrastructure. I'm going to run a tool here called GLX Info. So when you just run it, you're going to get a lot of different information out here on your terminal. If you don't have this tool, don't worry. This is just an optional tool where I want to show you where it can tell you what features are available if you want to do, for instance, OpenGL programming. So that's a lot of information. So I'm just going to grab through it and show you the version of OpenGL that you have here. And here you're going to see that I can support at least OpenGL 4.6, which is the latest as of this release. So that's a good thing. That means we have a lot of the features available for us. And it's also going to show us some information such as which video card I have here, which happens to be an NVIDIA video card. So another way to see which video card you have is with the LS PCI tool and dash B. And again, this is going to give you a lot of information about listing the components of your PCI slots on your machine. And if you scroll through this or look through this, you might find some interesting components. So for example, let me go ahead and minimize myself here. And you can see I have some NVIDIA tools here, and I actually have an NVIDIA card here. And what's interesting about this or why I'm taking the time to show this is not only do I have an NVIDIA card, but if I scroll up through here, I also do have an integrated video card as well. So you might have to make some changes. For example, my Intel card has an integrated uh, card on it that I know about. So you might have to make some changes just to make sure that you're selecting and using your latest GPU hardware. If you want to see specific limits for your card, it might be interesting to run GLX info again, dash L. And again, scroll through this and grep through the various contents for what may be of interest. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, and if you want some more info just about what GLX is, is it's basically the extension to the windowing system. Now, at the time of this writing, I'm using the X window system on my Ubuntu system. There may be other future windowing systems like Wayland and so on, if you want native windows, but again, SDL2 will usually take care of that behind the scenes for us. All right, let's get to the important part with setting up SDL2. So. How do we get the library? Well, we can search for it. So the tool I'm going to use is apt on this system. You may otherwise use a tool like yum and be able to search for it if you're using the yum package manager or maybe you're on sent OS or some other Unix system. Again, I'm using Ubuntu. That's my preferred version for Linux development as of today. So what we're going to do is go ahead and do apt search. And I'm going to look for lib stl. And it's going to return some results for me, which I can scroll through. And these are the various packages. Now, notice there is still stl 1.2 available. So let's do a little bit of a more specific search for stl2 and scroll up. And we can see that there are the developer libraries here, which we want. Another way that we can search for this to get a listing is apt cache search libstl2, and this will give us a smaller listing. So anyway, this is the tool or the package that we're going to want to download. So what we'll do is sudo apt get install libstl2 dev. Now, you'll notice that I already have this installed, but if you don't, you'll just hit yes, and you'll get a version that is 2 or greater. At the time of writing, it's 2.08, which is fine for this series of tutorials that I'm going to be using. All right, now that we have SDL installed, let's go ahead and install or rather test out some support code to see if our program compiles. So if you're following this series, you may have already visited this repository here. I would recommend downloading the sixth one here because this has OpenGL set up. So let's just go ahead and clone this repository. So I'll run git clone the repository. I already have it, so let's just go ahead and remove that copy and get a fresh one. 
And let's go ahead and navigate into the repository, into the six directory, which sets up OpenGL and SDL2. And if I list the contents, I have my main here. So let's go ahead and try to compile this and understand what's going on step by step. So typically, when I see some source code like this, I want to compile it. And we're using a C++ compiler. So G++ or Clang++ will be fine. And we have a main file here. So let's just go ahead and compile it. Hmm. First error that we get is that we're missing the GLAD libraries here, the GLAD.h. Well, it looks like I do have a folder here, so I just need to point the compiler to the actual header files that'll tell us where our GLAD library is. So let's go ahead and navigate a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and open up this window here just to help me locate where the actual header files are so I can tell my compiler to include this path. So it's in GLAD, include, GLAD, and H here. So let me go ahead and append that here, g++ main.cpp. And I want to include the following library, which was in glad slash lowercase include. And I'll hit enter. OK, here's some progress. I'm still getting errors, but these are linker errors specifically related to, well, glad, which I can see down here, as well as SDL. So let's go ahead and take care of these one at a time. So because the glad function calls here aren't being found, well, we actually have that as part of our source here. Within glad, within our source folder, there is a glad.c. So let's compile that file. So here's what my command line looks like. And I also need to compile dot slash glad slash source slash glad.c. OK, let's see if that resolved those errors. OK, it did. So I don't see those from the top to bottom. So let's continue taking care of these error messages, starting with the linker messages here to include SDL. So we need to link in the SDL library, which we just downloaded. And I'll go ahead and make this bigger so you can see everything on one line. So we want to link in SDL2. I'll hit enter. And so far, so good. Only one error message here. Now, keep in mind on the Linux system, when you use a package manager, usually what's happening is this library, which will be either some .lib file or .so file, depending on if it's a shared library or a statically generated library, will be put into a special folder, maybe a slash lib directory, for example. And the compiler knows to search for, if I echo out this path variable, any of these locations. If you've used or done Windows development, these are like environment variables, essentially global variables where the compiler will look for and see, can it find libSDL2? OK, so we're almost there with compiling and understanding what each of these lines are doing. So let's see what that last error message was again. And it's saying that we're missing this DL close library here. Well, I actually have some idea of what this is. I know that it's a C library here, and I can look for it by exploring the manual page. And it says I need to link this other library here, DL, which is responsible for loading symbols at runtime. So I'm going to link in DL. And it looks like all of our errors have been resolved. So we should get an a.out file. So I should be able to do dot slash a.out to run our program. And in my other window, this popped up here. I can use the right arrow, press some other buttons, and so on. And we have an SDL window with OpenGL running. So I'll go ahead and press Control C a few times to terminate the application here and make sure that it quits. And the last thing that I want to do is just clean up our program a little bit in the sense that I want to actually just output an actual program name for it. I like to name my programs prog, so that will be the executable name here. And I'll run it one more time so I can just run it with dot slash prog. And we'll get our same SDL window here, which I'll escape from. OK. And once all of the messages have finished printing out, because we moved the mouse a lot and they printed out fast, your program should terminate accordingly. So what we've done in this tutorial is we've looked at a few helpful tools just to get acquainted on your Linux system with what sort of graphics hardware you have how to find what GPU you have in the case that you may have multiple GPUs and need to select which one to use so you can use the appropriate OpenGL version, 
And we've also used the package manager to download SDL2, install the library, and then compile one component at a time in order to set up our template graphics program. So you can continue watching this series to understand each of the components. I would highly recommend that if you have questions. Otherwise, if you want to install other libraries, for example, such as the SDL2 image library or SDL2net, the same process or a very similar process will follow. And I'll be happy to also generate useful resources if you think that will help you. All right, that's it for now. Hopefully you're set up and ready to go on Linux.